Hey designers, Jessica here, and I'm going to really quickly introduce to you my new Vectalic Magic Illustrator Brush Revolution, which is going to really change the way you think about Illustrator, what you can do with Illustrator, um, the idea that you can paint an Illustrator and then take it into Photoshop if you want and do even more artistic things. So it's really cool. And it's been the product of three months of my hard work and let me tell you it has taken so much trial and error to create these brushes to get the look that I wanted it's pure fantasy it's um, really beautiful smooth strokes mixed in with shimmer um, just tons of work and not only that these are illustrator image brushes and they are just absolutely fantastic to work with. But if you are familiar with image brushes in Illustrator, you know that you can't color them in Illustrator. Well, I have figured out a new revolutionary technique um, layering four strokes to give you the ability to change the color and the intensity and darkness all within Illustrator if you want. Otherwise, you can just paste them into Photoshop and keep creating. But I know a lot of people prefer to stay in Illustrator, so I wanted to give them that option. So it's really revolutionary and doing something entirely new with an Illustrator. So just to give you an example of the power of what you can do with this, I created this composition in Illustrator 100%, and I have to say it's really cool. It looks like a painting. Amazing. Well, this might um, look like it took a long time, but if I select all my strokes on here, and then I take them back down to a basic appearance, you're going to see what I had to draw, which was just a few strokes to get that amazing look. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of a demo. And you've got in the um, Mega Pack brush pack, you've got like 110 brushes featuring 58 styles. If you've got the Essentials collection, you've got 20 brushes featuring five styles and they're in small, medium, long, and extra long. But uh, it's really cool. You can use the small brush strokes. Um, you don't have to only have them for that uh, size. And I'll give you a little demonstration on that later. So I'm just going to take some of my small brushes and you, you paint in gold and then you can colorize them afterwards. And you'll see the strokes are just really beautiful full of detail, um, just all kinds of fantastic styles that really you couldn't even get on your own. So super cool. We've got medium, you've got all kinds of really cool strokes. And I just tried to put all different kinds of things in here. So you've just got different shapes, you've got different styles. And I'm going to show you another thing. The main thing is what I was saying is that you have these image brushes and I'm just going to brush here, show you a sample. Well, this is gorgeous, but what if I want this in another color? Well, typically in Illustrator, I can't just click this in and I can't just make this another color easily. This is an image brush, but I created this new technique in Illustrator and I have these copy and paste brush charts so that I can use my eyedropper tool and instantly colorize that. Now, okay, I don't want it in purple. Well, not a big deal. You just, now you can change it to any color you like. You can make it darker. You can change the intensity. You can make it lighter. It's all up to you. So I figured out the system. I go into more detail about this in another video, but that allows you to cop, um, colorize them right here in Illustrator um, if you want. Now I'm a Photoshop girl, so most of the time I take my stuff into Photoshop and then um, get a little bit more artistic with it. Another thing is, okay, well, you've got small brushes, you've got medium brushes, long and extra long, and I made them so that you can have those details that you want in all the different strokes, but it doesn't matter really because you can experiment with these and have so much fun. For example, I'm going to draw a brush stroke with a medium brush, and this one's really cool and it looks wet and it's got some shimmer in it. It's really awesome. Well, what if I use this on a long brush stroke? Is it just going to break? Is it going to look terrible? Um, is it just going to be a mess? Well, here, let me just draw a long brush stroke and look at it. It just um, has a different look to it. So now it's like more wet and, but you still have a cool stroke. So 
it's just tons of possibilities there. And then not only that, um, I have another little sample here. Just applying, here's a sample of a square and some lines, like I'm gonna make a little uh, pattern or something. Well, just by applying these brush strokes and then colorizing them, I just go from this to this in seconds and it's so nice looking. So they can just add so much with just a stroke. And then another thing is say you're a person who, well, I don't really work that much in Illustrator, but it's not a big deal. You can just use Illustrator to make these strokes, to, to do this hard, heavy, lifty for, heavy lifting for you, and then just take them into Photoshop and have more fun. So I'm just gonna take this brush here, and I'm gonna quick make a little flower out of it. I'm going to take my width tool, and as you can see here, I'm already getting some really cool effects. And I don't really know how fat I want my leaf to be, but that looks cool. So I'm just going to rotate this around the center and to create a little flower. So let's duplicate this. And wow, this is cool. This is a great start to a flower illustration. So now I'm going to just take that, copy it, and I'll go over here into Photoshop, which I prefer to work into Photoshop. So I'm just going to paste it in here. You can paste it as a smart object or pixels. And just give it a second. There we go super huge. Um, and now I can use my color add-on styles in Photoshop to change the color to whatever I want, change the intensity. I don't want it so dark. Let's take that down. We can change the color to anything we want. Let's make it a little bit more red there. That's pretty. Let's click OK. And another thing that I include in here is a mixer brush tool. And let me just increase the size a little bit. What's cool is that with this mixer brush, I don't have to lay down any of this paint. Now I, this is like a big shortcut. So I can just take this um, that I created in a few seconds in Illustrator. And now I can just add some brush strokes here with my mixer brush tool and kind of give this more of a hand drawn look. So I can kind of just fake it a little bit like I drew this and I just had a big shortcut, so I can just go here, pull this, pull some of this paint around, and just give it a really cool look. And it just looks a lot more um, artistic and painterly. And just uh, add a little touch to it like that, and then maybe add some dots in the center, and I've got a great start for a um, illustrated flower. So that is a quick rundown of the, uh, Vectalic Magic Gold Brushes, and I'm demonstrating this with the Mega Pack, but the Essentials Collection is really the same, except that you have a smaller uh, selection of brushes. And also, my Mega Pack is available, as well as my Ultimate Brush Creator uh, to Creators Couture Insiders, but what's cool is you can um, get the Essentials Collection before becoming a Creators Couture ins Insider, and then upgrade it anytime on my website and just pay the difference. So you can just dip your toes in, get the essentials collection, play around with it. And if you like what you see, then upgrade to the mega pack after becoming a creator's couture insider. So I hope you enjoyed this demo and have a lot of fun playing with these brushes.